let's say the cat died, I would be able to uh, overwrite everything that led to the cat dying and the cat would then be alive again. The theory is called quantum memory matrix and um, this entire framework um, treats space-time not as static, uh, which all other theories of gravity do, uh, it makes it active, it makes it an active memory system. So it's more like looking at space-time as a memory, like in a computer, like RAM, for example. If we had a device that would be able to produce enough energy, we could access it. So that would mean I could manipulate reality almost. So and I don't want to sound metaphysical, but that's really what it is. So if you uh, think about a computer memory um, and say you store uh, a file, uh, you open that file, you read through it, contains some information, um, you share that file with someone, uh, then you manipulate the file and you share the file again. So now the someone you sent it to has two different uh, configurations of that file, so to say. Uh, for space-time, it would be even uh, more intriguing. That would mean I could uh, prevent an event from happening after it happened. So, or I could manipulate an event after it happened. And say, in a uh, Schrödinger-like style, uh, talking about the cat, so let's say the cat died, um, I would be able to uh, overwrite everything that led to the cat dying and the cat would then be alive again. But I have to wait until it happened. It still wouldn't allow me to predict the future.